Morning. Another great day to harvest some crops. You guys ready for some barley action? I am. We might finish today. It's amazing. 800 acres. It's like a day and a half. With that said, today's video is brought to you by Simply Safe. So I'm gonna jump up on in here. Let's get to work and um, we'll get this done. Let's go. Well, this is one of the pieces that got hailed really bad. Um, I saw 10 bushel for a second in a low spot, but it's been at zero for the last five minutes. 40 acres, it's not a big piece. Dad was thinking of cutting it all off because he just wants it to look nice. I personally think I just leave it for a snow catch, like canola stubble, just leave it because we're wasting money running combines across right now. And there's no reason to do that. So I kind of think we need to just abandon these stuff and just zigzag through it. If you don't get a bushel an acre, move on because it's just not worth it. So I think I'm gonna pull up anchor and uh, sail on to the next field that's hopefully a little better than this because this one's not doing great. I'll show you what we're dealing with here. So this is what it looks like up close. So that little pea hail, it just stripped every kernel or I guess you call it a kernel for barley, <laughs> out of these heads. And then it laid over a lot of it. And I mean, it's just, barley is really, really uh, light compared to wheat. It's not as waxy um, and it, it shreds, really is simple, just breaks down. You can just grind it up in your hand when it's dry. So it doesn't take much to lay it over. So it is more susceptible to hail and it shows. But um, yeah, that's basically the gist of this 40 acres. And there's probably another 500 acres that way that's very similar. So let's move about a mile that way to where the storm kind of just barely grazed. And I think we can get some barley that's decent. And we'll just continue to harvest it, get all that done first. There's no reason to be wasting good days on this stuff. Might as well come back to this, you know, at the end of harvest if you really feel like cutting it off. Let's move on, guys. There we go, it's a little better. 12 bushels an acre. I like seeing grain go in the tank. That's nice. Okay, we'll uh, bust this out, it won't take long. And then this one and another one that's decent. And then from then on, it's gonna be playing the game of do we harvest it or not. So we'll get that when we get to that, probably later this afternoon, because we're gonna be doing about 35 acres an hour per machine. So what is that, about 70 acres an hour between the two of them? So yeah, it won't take long. You get, you get a lot knocked out when you can go six and a half, seven miles an hour. Pretty sweet. New cutter bar. Oh, hey, didn't see you there, how's it going? I know I'm not in the combine right now. Don't worry, I'll be back in there soon enough. But now that you're here, I'm gonna talk to you about Simply Safe. So Simply Safe is an award-winning security system for your home, your business, whatever it may be. The cool part about Simply Safe is you don't have to worry about scheduling an appointment to have someone come and install it. We've done installs ourselves with security systems. It takes a while and you don't know who that person is that's coming into your home to install it, and whether they're gonna do as good a job as we do, because our job obviously is great as you can see right now. So you can get 24 seven protection by professional agents ready to dispatch for less than $1 a day and no long-term contracts. If you'd like to get yourself one of these 1080p night vision, two-way audio communication, outdoor video cameras, or say a motion detector for inside your house, you can save 20% right now by signing up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Just go to simplysafe.com slash welcome farms to learn more. And with that said, remember, there's no safe, like simply safe. Let's go to the combine. Just jumped a quarter mile south. 
and I think we're gonna leave this. It's not worth it. Um, it's pretty much, it's 100% for sure. So we're just kind of trying to see if we can find a patch or two that might have some grain in it. I just kind of cleaned up along the road, make it look a little nicer. That's kind of the point now. It's like, do you, do you want the fields to look nice? Spend the money to do it? But you don't, so we'll, uh, we'll spin around here and then I think we got one more field that we can get in that should have some barley still in it that got lightly hailed, but I think there's still enough there to make it worth it. So we'll see here soon. Well, uh, we got into the bad hail part of the uh, farm of Poor's Barley. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm just cutting uh, just the edge of it. Um, I turn around and when it's zero and uh, I cut quite a ways before it starts registering. I'm just cutting through a little bit thicker, a little bit uh, away from the absolutely 100%. Still haven't gotten above zero. Uh, so, yeah, it's really opened up on this area and took out the barley. Something happened to my draper on my right side. I don't know exactly what is going on, but it uh, stopped turning and I can't tighten it up anymore. The adjustment is not working. So something internally came apart. So I gotta find out what's going on. So I think I'm just gonna run it back to the farm because it's not that far. And I think I'm gonna need some tools that I don't have. <laughs> I drove all the way back and I just saw my problem. That rock right there. I bet if I pop that out, my draper will go back to the tension it's supposed to be. Well, well at least I can pick a better bar while I'm in here. <laughs> oh. Let's see if we can get that out. Now, something break. Or is the tension back to normal again? Let's take a look. That is awesome. If that's all it is, I'm okay with that. Tension is still not right. I'm gonna tool and tighten and loosen this and see if I can find out what's going on. Right there. I think that's good. Okay, let's go back to the field. A little bit of a test run, but I think uh, I think we're gonna work here, so good. That's good to know. Nothing serious. Just a rock and a nice trip back to the farm and back. Didn't even see that rock when I was out there. <laughs> Alright. Just ran a rock through the combine. Ugh. It's so short here, I just... Anyways, it, it, it's vibrating. My spreaders are not moving in the back. I think some damage was done. So, I gotta run it back to the shop, and I gotta open it up, and we gotta see what's going on. But the rotor is definitely out of balance, so it probably, I can hear it still, it's still slowing down right now, and I can hear it making sounds. Something ripped apart in there. So it wasn't a rock, and that explains how the rock craft didn't catch it. Fence post. Okay, I see one, one of the knives is missing. The chopper, pour that off. There's a bolt or something sitting right there on that. That's a, that's a rotor bar, rasp bar bolt. So I tore a rasp bar off too. That's probably why it's so out of balance. So we lost our ass bar somewhere and I could feel it vibrating funny. Now that, that one's crooked a little bit, but I don't know if that's, that's fine. They're like that. That shouldn't make a difference on that. I'll watch over here. You can watch over there. One of these has got to be missing. Hopefully the, I think that was just a bolt from the spreader. Oh, it could I'm be. I'm pretty sure that's a bolt from a spreader. Oh, well, that'd be amazing if this, things take such abuse. I don't think there's anything wrong with the rotor. Oh, that'd be nice. Okay, All right. So it's just a spreader. A chopper. Or a chopper, chopper blade. Which we don't have any backups to spares of those, so we had to go to Torgerson's to get some. So tore that one off there. Oh, these things are so war. <laughs> it's just a blunt. 
we should have turned these. So it needs one there. Oh yeah, these things are toast. Looks like just the one. It tore that one off right there. And I don't see any damage back here to any of the... So yeah, it tore that off and it shot out of the back. So it's just, it's just that one bar there is where I think it sliced into this panel up here. Fortunately, it's just a sheet you can just replace. So someday we'll have to put a new one in there, but she didn't go through into the engine, which is nice. Didn't chop the oil pan out. Thankful for that. Marley is going by fast. We started the afternoon um, yesterday, and with a little mishap on Nick's combine today, that little piece of metal that's going through, Nick's fixing the blades on that chopper, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this truck, and there's not that many truckloads of barley going off the field, so we'll take what we can get, but it might be two solid days of barley cutting, if that, probably not even that, and we'll be done. That's that's not very much but it is what it is so all right let's dump this truck First try. Oh yeah. Can't do this with one hand. Oh yes I can. Be a lot more convenient with two, but there's a camera in my hand. Well, now that Nick's put that hydraulic pump on this tractor, this thing works a lot, lot better. A lot better. Three hours later, and the knives are in. Okay, let's go back to the field. Air conditioning, air ride, music. It's a tough life. We'll make it. have about 60 acres left of barley to go and then we're done um, it's gonna be dark enough tonight we're gonna shut down we'll finish that 60 acres tomorrow and then there's some spring wheat that's ready to go so 
think harvest will just keep continuing. It'll be a Saturday, so we'll push on. And then next week they're talking some rain, so um, take care of that. And I crashed my drone, strafing the barley. And it broke the left, right, or the right rear arm. So I got some repairs to do. I was gonna go swimming later. Ugh. Can't get a catch a break.